The OnePlus 8 Pro is coming with a 120Hz display and I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So today's news comes from Max J who teases that the OnePlus 8 Pro may be coming with a 120Hz display. Now of course, the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro already have a smooth 90Hz display and OnePlus confirmed that all future models will be sticking with this, but if the OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a 120Hz display, it's going to provide an even smoother experience. It's likely that the standard OnePlus 8 will stick with the 90Hz display given that both phones are looking quite similar and there do need to be features to distinguish the premium model from the standard. The OnePlus 8 Pro is looking like another incredible phone and we already have plenty of leaks surrounding the design and the hardware. On the front we've got a pretty much all screen curved display with a punch hole selfie camera in the top left. The display will be 6.65 inches and if Max J is correct a 120Hz fluid AMOLED display. The selfie camera is going to be a 16 megapixel wide angle lens and the phone will of course have an in display fingerprint scanner. While the device won't have an in-display camera sensor, it will be the first from OnePlus to feature a quad camera setup on the rear. We've got a 48 megapixel wide angle main sensor, an 8 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom, a 16 megapixel ultra wide and a time of flight depth sensor. They're sticking with the vertical camera alignment, although this time round we've got the addition of a time of flight depth sensor above the LED flash module. The phone is of course going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 and it's reportedly coming with a choice of 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM and storage will likely be 256 gig. It's of course going to be UFS 3 and reports suggest that this phone will be 5G compatible. We've got the power button and alert slider on the right hand side with the volume rocker on the left and we of course have a USB-C port on the bottom with a new speaker grill design and a smooth top with only a hole for the mic. Battery capacity is likely to be around 4,100 mAh considering it's a similar size to the predecessor and it will support 30 watt fast charging. It's of course going to come with Android 10 out of the box and the OnePlus 8 Pro is going to measure in at 165.3 by 74.4 by 8.8 mm so it's actually the same as the predecessor. This could mean we again do not get wireless charging but at this point we still don't know. OnePlus have always stayed away from wireless charging but it seems to be a common request judging by my comment sections. Again, there's expected to be no official IP rating, but as always, OnePlus do make their phones water resistant, they just don't include official IP ratings to keep the cost down. While it isn't sufficient for many, we need to remember that even the phones with official IP ratings don't cover water damage under warranty. Given that OnePlus haven't been bumping their prices too much, we can expect the phone to start around $750 or £700. When it comes to the standard OnePlus 8, we can see it looks similar to the previous models, although this time they've decided to go with a punch hole camera instead of the notch. For the first time, we're seeing a curved display on the standard model and a source claims it's going to be a 6.5 inch 90Hz fluid AMOLED display. The selfie camera is going to be a 16 megapixel wide angle and it's no doubt going to have an in-display fingerprint scanner. OnePlus already confirmed that all future models will be 90Hz, so we know this is true. The phone dimensions come in at 162.6 by 75.9 by 8.8 millimeters. As you can see, they've gone with a triple camera setup on the standard OnePlus 8 and they've stuck with the vertical alignment we're used to seeing instead of the new circular housing on the 7T. It's reportedly going to have the 48 megapixel wide angle main sensor, an 8 megapixel telephoto with 2 times optical zoom and finally a 16 megapixel ultra wide. There's going to be no time of flight sensor on the standard OnePlus 8. The OnePlus 8 has the power button and the alert slider on the right hand side with the volume rocker on the left and the SIM tray can be found at the bottom. The device will again be powered by the Snapdragon 865 and judging by recent releases we'll see 8 gigs of RAM along with 128 or 256 storage. When it comes to battery capacity, given the device's size, it's likely going to be between 3,700 and 4,000 milliamp hours, depending on how much space they have internally, and of course, it will support 30 watt fast charging. 
Price wise we're expecting the standard OnePlus 8 to be around five to six hundred dollars and six hundred pounds and of course both models will ship with Android 10 in the form of Oxygen OS. It's great that we finally have some leaks so early on and many are excited for the launch of the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Most information comes from OnLeaks and given that OnLeaks is a reliable source, I would think at least the bulk of this information is true. 120Hz is going to add a much smoother experience to the phone and it doesn't seem to affect battery life too much on the phones I've used with 90Hz so this is a great feature to include. Max J already posted on Twitter to say both phones will be coming in Q2 of 2020, but to be honest, we already knew that as OnePlus tend to stick to the same schedule when launching their phones. As always though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro, and do you think we'll see wireless charging this time round? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.